What's up everyone and welcome back. What makes you, you? Do you know the meaning of your name? Well, this video is all about that. Last year I created my mini me doll, Little Kiro, but before that I had this idea of creating a doll out of my actual name. So after thinking a lot and a poll on Instagram, I decided to create a challenge slash collab open to everyone to join. The rules were simple, the base of the doll must be the meaning of your name. And after that, you had to complement the design, adding some things that makes your personality. So these were mine. First of all, my name is Ciro, from the Greek Kiros, which means the great king. So the base of my doll will be a king. Next, I was born on April 30th, so I'm a Taurus. I think he needs horns. My favorite color, obviously, is black. When I was little, I couldn't stay calm, so I had a lot of scars on my face to prove that. I also love tattoos and video games, so with all these details, we'll create something cool. For this project, I'll be using a Hunter Huntsman doll, and I'll start by blushing the body. I want my king to be a barbarian, so off camera I'll add some body hair. Once the blushing is ready, I'll add some tattoos with red and black acrylics. I want the tattoo on his leg to have a gradient, so I'll make that using black pastels and a few layers of sealant. Time to incorporate my zodiac sign. To create the horns of the bull, I'll make an armature out of wire. and to finish them, some white or dry clay. I leave them to cure while I make the clothing, which is going to be black. Next part is the video games, and the way I incorporate this is by using the barbarian armor of Link from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as a reference. I gotta say that it's just an inspiration, I will not make the exact copy. Using some faux leather, I'll make a waistband with a very messy stitch and some snaps. Thank you. 
Then I'll cut some ripped fabric and another piece of leather to create the loincloth. For the shoes, I cut two rectangles and sew a piece of fluffy yarn. I'll add a little stitch to close them to the heels. And then I'm surrounding the boot using a leather strip. For the top part, I create a leather harness. And this is the complete look. I added some snaps to the boots, so I can remove them later if I need to. And a wristband from the same furry yarn. And a loincloth. Finally, the face up. With pastels, I'll trace the brows. Then, using a brown pencil, I'll mark the eyes. And later, I'll fill up the sclera with white and darken the lines with black. Then some hair strokes to the brows. The eyes will be brown this time.
I'll finish the eyes using some acrylics. And I'll add some scars to his face. I'm going to create these scars using a mixture of pink, red and brown paint. But I gotta say that I made them bigger later on. And I also make the eye of the scar blind. So I change it to grey. Next, the hair. Here's a tip, forget about the yarn flock. This time I decided to make some flock out of actual doll hair. It looks more realistic. Also, I need to apologize because I met the hair of the doll and I didn't realize that it wasn't recording, so there's no footage of that. Once the horns are dry, I glue them up using some epoxy glue and I'll paint them to get rid of that white. I really want to incorporate the crown to my king, but without being obvious, so I just painted some gold lines to the horns. And the most important aspect of our barbarian, that's right, the beard. Using some yarn and Elmer's glue, I'll add little by little the wefts. If you want to give your doll a beard, I really recommend you this method. It looks a little complicated and time consuming, but the results are fantastic. Okay, so I posted a sneak peek of this guy on Instagram, and some people asked me if I was making Call Drogo, and I really don't want to trigger anyone, but I had no idea of what they were talking about, so I had to Google him, and well, since I don't really watch Game of Thrones, I know anything about the show, so we could say it's just a coincidence that my doll kinda looks like him. Once we're done with the beard, I cover up the edges of the horns by adding a second layer of hair flock.
and we're finished. I really love my Barbarian King, and it's time to showcase some of the artists that joined my challenge. Thanks to everyone who joined! What do you think about this idea of video? If you like it, I can try to create another challenge. It was actually really fun. And also, taking in consideration that he is definitely not called Drogo. How would you name this guy? Comment down below! And as always, like, share and join to the workshop by subscribing to my channel. And click the bell to get notifications for new videos. Thanks for watching and I see you on the next time! Kira out!